We have like 80 member affiliates. And so those are all affiliate organizations, nonprofits that do provide direct services in some form or another um, for the AAPI community. of the community have been fairly consistent. It just got exasperated during the pandemic, you know, because we had a lot of our seniors, for instance, had to shelter in place. And just as we were um, getting uh, to the point where they were starting to come back out, you know, uh, at least, you know, move around a little bit, we ended up with the violence against Asian issue. And our seniors went right back into shelter in place because they were uh, feeling very safe. We're a full service uh, center. You literally can come here for ESL classes, walk across the hall and get a bag of groceries, meet with your counselor about, you know, a part-time job or a full-time job. Uh, you can do that all in one place. Delivery meal services typically are not just straight, because it's kind of like a, a little bit of a wellness check too, right? Like it's a little bit of social check-in and people can kind of make sure that all these seniors are doing okay. And our formula has always been provide for their immediate needs early on, quickly, get them up and running as quickly as possible, get them a job, and you can actually get them self-sufficient really within a year. Every country has to refresh itself. And one of the things that we find about immigrants, when you look at how they persevere, I mean, if I dropped you in a foreign country and said, go for it, what would you do? Where would you start? How would you get food for your family? I mean, that investment is basically an investment in the future of this country. We always cheer for the underdog, don't we? Why can't we cheer for the immigrants, right? They're the underdogs.